All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 26 for today. And in the last episode, we ended up getting some pretty good wins. And we ended up running into Miho as well, a super high level player. Some pretty good matches, but we're now at 1788 with Grand Champion 3, Division 3. One more division to go, and then we've got SSL. So we're just under 100 points. Let's get right into it. But of course, before we do, we got to do the meme of the day. And today we have Hansel and Gretel's. Oh boy. Looks like it's time to make a horrifying masterpiece. I've got Gretel's here with Hansel and Gretel. Unfortunately, because it's Hansel and Gretel's, this is Gretel. So, um,. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm doing this one a different way. I'm just going to erase everything around Rettles here. That's already amazing, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just uh, clean it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, I have way too much fun with this. There we have it. Hansel and Gretel's. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get to the episode. All right. Game number one, we got Wacky on my team and uh, MX and Gavalanche. I like Gavalanche. That's a cool name. Go for a wide shot here. I see that he's trying to feed that back that back corner. So instead, I'm going to do a very heavy turn on the ball. That way, I can cut, sort of cut it in towards. I mean, teammates should be able to get to this the guy's last man. Guys, probably have a touch out. Oh, that's a really good follow up from that guy. Might be okay as long as my team gets back. I actually like that the guy uh, popped the ball up. Good double touch from my teammate. Oh, a good follow up too. And I can get boost once I see that that play goes wrong. I should be good. I'll go stay with this as well. So I forced the second player to go in for a challenge. So they're last man. Force them over to my teammate on the side here. Good positioning for my teammate. Good try on the boost grab too. Oh, big fakes. Try to go for a bump maybe. He's up already. So I'm just going to back off. Good cut for my teammate. He probably can't land on it though. Yeah, he couldn't quite finish it. Close though. See what this guy does. Pop it to the corner. What I'm going to try to do is pop that high. My teammate's a little bit awkward though. Good placement. Oh my gosh, I land underneath him or on top of him. Grab this whole line of boost pads and I'll be back in net here. See what they do with this flick. Not the greatest touch for me. Good touch. i pop to the side. This boost should hopefully spawn for my teammate. It does. Watch out for the touch here. Okay, they do challenge again. I don't know if we got that boost or not. I'm just going to pop this over the one player. They're both backing off right here, so it should be in the mid for my teammate. There we go. Good touch. And a great shot. Great placement. So the one guy tried to chase him off the wall and the other guy wasn't quite ready for the shot. Um, yeah, MX says uh, my bad, but Gavlin's tried to get in the way and ended up missing it. He knows who I am. Oh, no. <laughs> right, I'll cheat up here a little bit. Softly. Have a shot here. And there we go. I'm just going to make sure I wait for that bounce off the side wall and... Uh, Let's do a little winky face. Um, wait for that back wall touch, and then I can just shoot it towards target. Those open nets are really good to practice. Booming the ball around in, in free play is going to be a big help. Now, I can shoot this towards target right away because they're not ready for it. Quite Not quite on target, but it's going to go back to mid for him. Put to pop it up. Maybe a double here. I'm going to wait in mid here in case he pops in middle. Go for, go for a block. I know that he's going to be up there on that touch. So going for the immediate shot is kind of dangerous. So instead, I'm going to play for the block. Right here as a free chip towards uh, our end. So I'm just going to wait for my teammate. He ends up going all the way back. I would have liked him to get in the way there because he was in the middle of going to, like in the same direction as the, the ball is. What a pinch. Probably not going to be a scorable opportunity unless they miss. They do miss. I'm gonna go, oh, I try to go below. That's going to work out though. Um, I really didn't expect that guy to miss there. I was trying to go underneath that guy. He got that boost steal too. Yeah. Great play. One of those situations where I miss, but ends up just feeding into a spot where my teammate can go for the shot anyway. So I love that. So that Rocket League is an amazing game. Let's see if we can get a demo here. Good block. Gavlin is probably going to cut off this really early. Wait for the touch. He's going to panic. Go for a 50 to the back corner. This boost will spawn in a second. He might have gotten that, actually. And now it's right here. It's going to bounce back to mid. Hop over one. Wait for them to do something here. Go for the shot. Good save. A Nor a North could go for this right away again, so I'm just going to get behind. I could have maybe gotten in the way there, but a very low boost. Pop on the sidewall here. Gavalanche is going to be chasing this back. Trying to get a bump here. Zero boost, but I can just pop it towards net. Not be quite in here. I'm going to pop it around him. Shoot my teammate to finish, and there we go. So yeah, I'm just trying to stay annoying there, be really close to the ball. Um, I could go for that. Like, I just got it, got it towards target, but didn't get, get it quite on target. GG, man. Well played. Always fun. Have we played before? 
my gout. <laughs> well played, man. You played really well. Really good first shot, too. First game, pretty good. We got nine points. We're almost 1,800, which is a pretty good level so far. I know that we're like... I'm brushing past the fact that we're like moving quite high up into like the top like 1% here. I mean, we're obviously... I'm obviously like skilled to the point where I can you know, play at this rank pretty comfortably. But I know that for someone who isn't at this rank, it's going to be difficult to like muscle memory, all these things, because it just takes a lot of time in the game to get used to the movements, keep the ball controlled. But it's all about not overdoing what you can like getting like, obviously you want to push your comfort zone a little bit, but at the same time, you want to make sure you're not going overboard. If you want to see improvement, playing as higher level players is going to do it for you. And getting these control touches and keeping the ball close, you know, getting little taps like this, um, I've talked about this where you, you, you just hit the ball around and try to chip it off of touches, wave dash around, you know, make sure you just get little control touches. The more you can feel comfortable hitting the ball around, uh, the better. And the more that you can get touches like this where you can stay with the ball on the air dribble, um, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, it's just the world is your oyster with Rocket League. So the more you practice, the better. There is no shortcut. Some people are naturally more talented in the game than 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 you might be. And that's okay. It just takes maybe a little more work to get to the point someone else will get to. But you will get there if you work at it. Got a game number two here. We got Monster on my team against Mimi and Jabao. So we're the highest ranked in the lobby. But everyone's around mid-1700. Popped around this guy. And once this guy is chasing to the corner here, I know that I have space. Because he's going to be zero boost. He went off kickoff. Good catch to control it. This ball's going to spill back into mid here. You see how the, the, there's so much space when the ball spills off the wall there. I'm going to pop this once and then go for a shot off this flick. If you pop it up, my teammate's pretty far. So if he goes for this, it's really dangerous. He does wait though. Smart. Good catch. One to beat. I can stay with this here around the one player. Go for the shot. Not quite on target. Nice cut for my teammate. Miss. Should be an open shot. Just going to shoot towards target nice and slow. Don't need to worry about, um, like that guy's like that that's coming back there is panicking and, uh, oh, he knows me too. Oh no. We got all the higher level players who are recognizing me more often. I feel like in the earlier days of, uh, the series, we weren't really getting players noticing me that much, but pretty much every lobby has, has known me. Can pop this over the one here. We well, he ended up missing. I was going for the block on him. Could be a pop down the field. I'll pop this middle. Dupes, uh, clear down the field. This guy might turn on this. Stay close here. Once again, popping it over. I don't need to do anything crazy. It's going to be a, a pressure touch here. All right, mid maybe. I really like the pr uh, the, the uh, presence of mind there to wait on that ball. I can bring this up the wall if I want. My teammate's in a little awkward spot, but a good touch. Rocket repleter. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. It's going to be a goal here. Yeah, that's rough. So the, the ball spilled over my teammate's head and he ended up backflipping it and getting demoed. I, I don't mind the touch of the backflip, but uh, the way that he recovered was going to put himself in a really bad spot. Good demo here. Oh, that's the dangerous. I shouldn't have left the ball there. This could be on target. My teammate's going to have it though. Over Mimi. It's going to be awkward. See this guy turns. Too clear on the field. It's going to be them again. Pop it off. If monster can get there, it might just be straight in. Yeah, they both were on the sidewall there. I really, that really shouldn't be a goal because uh, Jabao is forward and then Mimi turns up the wall, which I didn't expect. I thought he was going to be back. So I was just trying to pr cause pressure to clear it over to the left side, but he just drove up the wall. It goes around him. Hopefully he can get there. It's still off target. A little dangerous though. Teammate is backwards. It's going to be a shot. I'm going to wait in mid here. See, how I know that that guy cannot shoot that ball. Like he's in a position where he can't shoot. So what I'm doing instead is watching that pass play. It's going to be a little dangerous if I don't get a save there. But we do get it. Now I'm low boost. I'm going to grab this one pad. My teammate's up. I wouldn't suggest going for that that early. It's going to be a shot. Almost on target too. That would have been really bad. My teammate who has like maybe 30, 40 boosts needs to be very, very patient there. Because I'm not in a position to fight that at all. I'll pop this around him. I might just be in. Yeah. So I just go for a little a chip there to try and pop it around him. He didn't quite read it. And I think that was Mimi again. Yeah, I didn't read the touch. So I knew I, I could have some sort of touch there. I was trying to keep it controlled. I really didn't think there was going to be a goal once again. But go for an early early flip. Early flips, like I find that sometimes they end up getting me in a better position. A little dangerous here. Oh, what a read from Mimi, though. That was a really good play. <laughs> he was ready for that so quickly. 
Not played the best in the corner there by Monster. He tried to cause a 50-50, but that's always going to spill it towards mid. If he doesn't uh, let the ball go around the corner, because letting the ball, like letting the player go into mid there, isn't a problem. It's when you try to force the ball off of the player and then it spills into mid. That's when it's bad. So Monster gets beat here. I'm gonna just tap this like lightly into the corner here and then rush this once he's in an awkward spot. I see Jabal coming in for the early challenge. Good first touch for my teammate, but I don't know if he can get there. He can't. He's gonna pop it to the far side. It's gonna be Jabao off the side here with full boost. But it's the best I could do there. I mean, I'm, not really. I could have done a lot better. Ends up missing. The monster does here. Not great touch, but it's all good. Gonna wait here once again. Oh, teammate's up. This could be dangerous. This might be it. Yeah. Also, my teammate kind of rushing in a spot where I was already in the position. So he just crowds on top of me. I mean, I was, I was it technically like outplayed there. I could have looped out, but I have the control to be able to just pop up there. I'm not in a good position. If he doesn't make a good touch or a good challenge, we're, we're in trouble. Let's see if he goes for this again. I'm going to wait in mid here. I should not jump for this because it's too high. It's a good challenge. Back in the mid. Monster should be there. I think playing that like completely around the opponent would have been a little better, but it was still pretty good. I stay close to this. It's going to be Mimi's touch. Monster challenging very aggressively again, so I'm going to be on defense for a little bit here. Go for a shot off the side here. He would have saved it if I went towards target, as you can see. I might have, could, I could have maybe hit that a little harder, but it's still like a little dangerous. But he just ends up ego challenging Mimi and Net there, and really well played by Monster. Never mind, not left. That's crazy. Oh, up him! Go, go, go! What you mean? <laughs> Let's see what he says. A good challenge to the side. I think he's going to get his boost taken. But I like that the monster stayed with this. Going to go around him here. Go for a 50 50 again. Around the one. They're going to have that, no problem. It's going to be annoying. Stay with it. Back off now. Oh, all round one. Maybe my teammate can go for this. Oh, he didn't want to push up. He was, he tried to afterwards, but at that point, he should just back off. Be clear. Pop up to my teammate. Ooh, I definitely should have just been more. Uh, I was kind of like not fully committing to that, but I definitely should have. It's gonna be a shot. Nice, good finish. Let's see what he, what he meant. I don't know if he's gonna leave. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, we get uh, we get 1800 here. I mean, I don't know why he said I'm a fake left. I, maybe because I didn't respond. But I, I don't respond to people during the game. I, I like to just play it out. And we'll see what they say. Sometimes they say some pretty crazy stuff, as you guys have seen before. We got... uh, <laughs> What is this guy's name? 18 foot... Yeah, okay. This guy might cut in here for a shot. He ends up missing, no problem. But he can get this boost. Watch out for demos behind me. Not a great try on the the catch there, but wow, that worked out really well for him. Oh, they're teamed up, I just realized. Okay, so this is gonna be a touch from Mimi, maybe. I'll pop this around this guy. I wait on this ball here. See how I'm not like I'm trying to play the the, the 50 slow here. I'm gonna let my teammate go for this. Both of them. I knew I had to jump again. I fake this. He goes for it. Oh, Good touch from uh, Jabao. It's pretty dangerous for me to go for that with zero boost, but my teammate's definitely going to be recovering before they make a touch here. I don't really want to challenge any of this because my teammate's still staying on the ball. Oh. Oh. What the heck is going on? Pop it up. And he's probably going to be on this. Yeah, I shouldn't have waited so long. Playing that a little bit too hesitant. That's their last player. Both players in the corner. Some of my teammate. Good follow up. He's going for that mid boost, so I'm just going to wait behind. Not the most comfortable gameplay so far. Pop it up and then maybe try to go for a follow up shot here. Oof. My teammate still goes for that. I'm going to be low boost. Rotation's been a little awkward so far. But I got some space now, finally. 
I'll be able to double this uh, onto target. I almost got a double there. Great shot for my teammate. Um, I almost got a double there just to keep it close. When the ball is spilling off the backboard, I've said this a lot. When the ball is spilling off the backboard, right here, I was going to make a touch to pop it up. I, wa I want to make sure that it's not free for them to clear into mid and get an immediate return. Also, is there? I didn't know there was a donut goal explosion. <laughs> I feel there's so many things in this game, like so many items that I had no idea existed. All right, this should be my teammate to ho hopefully follow this up right away. I might just roll into the net now, yeah. Okay, I really thought the other guy was going to make a challenge or something, but he just he raced for the boost when the guy was racing for the ball. So not, not the best from... Whoever that was on the orange team. I got some space here. A little for a 50 here and then stay with it here. Oh, my teammate's going for it before there's even an opening. Oh boy. This is pretty dangerous. I'll make a demo here. I'm popping out. That's all I got though. 15 boost. I don't want to use all of my boost just for that play. It's going to be zero in net. Okay, maybe he's going to have a shot. It's off target. Oh, I'm confused. So we do get a challenge. I'm challenging in such a way that I can go to get the mid boost. A little bit scared of my teammates uh, clear, so I didn't want to go immediately for this. I'll make them panic. Send it back mid. Go for a shot. Go far left. I could have definitely walked around that ball. By walk, I mean drove. Uh, walked around the ball there. <laughs> a little more. Pass it back. Wasn't quite a pass back that I could actually follow up without having to deal with a 50-50, so I just went for a low 50 instead. Go for immediate chip. It's not going to be expected. I'm gonna pop up for my teammate. Once again, early, early, uh, early shot attempt. He doesn't even need to go for that because it's in a position where, um, like it's not shootable yet. But we do get a goal. I mean, it's working, but definitely not the most comfortable. Get a good first touch off the wall there. Another pop into mid. Jabao's not able to get there. Just good control off the side there. Catching that ball uh, in a position where they're really low boost and panicking is gonna be really good for us. I definitely feel like I've picked up my pace a little bit, maybe too much in these games. Um, but you gotta be that you gotta be at a high level to, you know, start ranking up. I'm gonna get demoed here if I don't go for another touch. Good touch from my teammate. It's a shot towards target. They should be able to save it. Really good boost feel for my teammate. Really good first touch as well. This is a control on the side here. The other guy's going for an immediate challenge. Good try on the bump. This guy's out of pl out of the play now, so I'm gonna stay with the ball here and just go for a chip around them. Even if it's not on target, it's going to be a good chance uh, because they have to challenge there with low boost. And uh, we just take advantage of the space in mid because that guy made a mistake. Like the other guy in net, Mimi, whoever that, I think it was Mimi who was trying to defend at the last second there. He, it's not really his fault that he's in that position. His teammate made a bad clear. Um, he got bumped on the wall there from my teammate, but really at that point, you should probably just be recovering and, and not overcommit the touch into mid because the ball was pretty close to the back wall. So at that point, I don't really think it's necessary to make a touch because it's already like tight against the wall. It's really hard to score in that situation. Uh, but the second you make any more space with the ball uh, between the wall and the player, you're going to add more opportunities to shoot that goal, uh, uh, shoot that ball, which is exactly what I did. I made a, a controlled touch because I had so much space off the wall and then I just popped it around Mimi. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode a little bit quicker of an episode. Uh, I don't remember how many forfeits there were. I think it was two. Pretty good overall. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like I said, until next time, have a great day. Catch you in the next one.